Religion Religion in the United States list of religious movements that began in the United States most prominent religion by state according to a 2014 Pew Research study. The First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution guarantees the free exercise of religion and forbids Congress from passing laws respecting its establishment. The United States has the world's largest Christian population. In a 2014 survey, 70.6% of adults in the United States identify themselves as Christians. Protestants in general accounted for 46.5%, while Catholics at 20.8% form the largest single Christian denomination. The Latter-day Saints, LDS, informally known as the Mormons and the Jehovah's Witnesses, are two U.S.-founded denominations that make up around 2% and 1%, respectively, of all American Christians. In 2014, 5.9% of the U.S. adult population claimed a non-Christian religion. These include Judaism, 1.9%, Islam, 1.1%, Hinduism, 0.7%, and Buddhism, 0.7%. The survey also reported that 22.8% of Americans described themselves as agnostic, atheist, or simply having no religion, up from 8.2% in 1990. Membership in a house of worship fell from 70% in 1999 to 47% in 2020, with much of the decline related to the number of Americans expressing no religious preference. However, membership also fell among those who identified with a specific religious group. Protestantism is the largest Christian religious grouping in the United States, accounting for almost half of all Americans. Baptists collectively form the largest branch of Protestantism at 15.4%, and the Southern Baptist Convention is the largest individual Protestant denomination at 5.3% of the U.S. population. Apart from Baptists, other Protestant categories include non-denominational Protestants, Methodists, Pentecostals, unspecified Protestants, Lutherans, Presbyterians, Congregationalists, Episcopalians slash Anglicans, Quakers, Adventists, Holiness, Christian Fundamentalists, Anabaptists, Pietists, and multiple others. The Bible Belt is an informal term for a region in the southern United States in which socially conservative evangelical Protestantism is a significant part of the culture and Christian church attendance across the denominations is generally higher than the nation's average. By contrast, religion plays the least important role in New England and in the western United States. Health Health in the United States Health Care in the United States Health Insurance in the United States The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC reported that the United States had an average life expectancy at birth of 77.3 years in 2020, 74.5 years for men and 80.2 years for women down 1.5 years from 2019. According to provisional figures, this was the lowest average U.S. life expectancy recorded by the CDC since 2003, the first overall decline since 2018, and the largest one-year decline since World War II. Some three-quarters of the decrease was attributed to deaths from the COVID-19 pandemic, with most of the rest due to accidents and drug overdoses. The country also has one of the highest suicide rates among wealthy countries. Starting in 1998, the average life expectancy in the U.S. fell behind that of other wealthy industrialized countries and Americans. Health disadvantage gap has been increasing ever since. From 1999 to 2019, more than 770,000 Americans 
died from drug overdoses life expectancy was highest among Asians and Hispanics and lowest among blacks. The Texas Medical Center, a cluster of contemporary skyscrapers, at night the Texas Medical Center in downtown Houston, one of the largest medical complexes in the world, October 2012, increasing obesity in the United States and improvements in health and longevity outside the U.S., contributed to lowering the country's rank in life expectancy from 11th in the world in 1987 to 42nd in 2007. In 2017, the United States had the lowest life expectancy among Japan, Canada, Australia, the United Kingdom, and seven nations in Western Europe. Obesity rates have more than doubled in the last 30 years and are the highest in the industrialized world. Approximately one-third of the adult population is obese and an additional third is overweight. Obesity-related type 2 diabetes is considered epidemic by healthcare professionals. In 2010, coronary artery disease, lung cancer, stroke, Chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases and traffic collisions caused the most years of life lost in the U.S. Low back pain, depression, musculoskeletal disorders, neck pain, and anxiety caused the most years lost to disability. The most harmful risk factors were poor diet, tobacco smoking, obesity, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, physical inactivity, and alcohol use. Alzheimer's disease, substance use disorders, kidney disease, cancer, and falls caused the most additional years of life lost over their age, adjusted 1990 per capita rates. U.S. teenage pregnancy and abortion rates are substantially higher than in other Western nations, especially among blacks and Hispanics. Government-funded health care coverage for the poor, Medicaid, established in 1965, and for those age 65 and older, Medicare, begun in 1966, is available to Americans who meet the program's income or age qualifications. The United States is the only developed nation without a system of universal health care and the reasons for this and extent to which it is a problem is a matter of debate. Similarly, a significant proportion of the population does not carry health insurance and the reasons for an extent to which it is a problem is also a matter of debate. In 2010, former President of Emma passed the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act or ACA, which ushered in the most sweeping set of reforms to America's health care system in nearly five decades since the creation of Medicare and Medicaid. The CDC said that the law roughly had the uninsured share of the population and multiple studies have concluded that ACA had reduced the mortality of enrollees. Nonetheless, its legacy remains controversial. The U.S. health care system far outstands that of any other nation measured both in per capita spending and as a percentage of GDP but attains worse health care outcomes when compared to peer nations. However, the U.S. is a global leader in medical innovation. Education, education, in the United States, educational attainment in the United States, the University of Virginia, founded by Thomas Jefferson, is one of the many public colleges and universities in the United States. Some 80% of U.S. college students attend these types of institutions. American public education is operated by state and local governments and regulated by the United States Department of Education through restrictions on federal grants. In most states, children are required to attend school from the age of five or six, beginning with kindergarten or first grade until they turn 18 generally bringing them through 12th grade at the end of high school. Some states allow students to leave school at 16 or 17.
About 12% of children are enrolled in parochial or non-sectarian private schools. 3.4% of children are home as of 2012. The U.S. spends more on education per student than any nation in the world, spending an average of $12,794 per year on public elementary and secondary school students in the 2016-2017 school year. Some 80% of U.S. college students attend public universities. Of Americans 25 and older, 84.6%. Graduated from high school, 52.6% attended some college, 27.2% earned a bachelor's degree, and 9.6% earned graduate degrees. The basic literacy rate is approximately 99%. The United Nations assigns the United States an education index of 0.97, tying it for 12th in the world. The United States has many private and public institutions of higher education. The majority of the world's top universities, as listed by various ranking organizations, are in the U.S. There are also local community colleges, with generally more open admission policies, shorter academic programs, and lower tuition. In 2018, U21, a network of research-intensive universities, ranked the United States first in the world for breadth and quality of higher education and 15th when GDP was a factor. As for public expenditures on higher education, the U.S. trails some other OECD organization for cooperation and development nations but spends more per student than the OECD average and more than all nations in combined public and private spending. Despite some student loan forgiveness programs in place, student loan debt has increased by 102% in the last decade and exceeded $1.7 trillion as of 2021.